practices. Uh, Mokhtar Al Kansali himself, the um, what do you call the main character in our uh, in Dave Eggers' last book. And for the people who know, who read a lot of books, Dave Eggers is a famous writer. Um, I didn't. I must admit, I didn't know him, uh, and you didn't know him either, right? I did not know him like that. No. How, how did you get to meet him? He was working on a project, uh, a script for a TV series, and the main character was a, a San Francisco police officer who happened to be from Yemen. So one of our mutual friends, through six degrees of separation, said, "I know Yemeni, a Yemeni kid who can help, you know, consult for you guys." And so I joined on. The product didn't go anywhere, but we just became friends. And to be honest, I didn't know he was a famous author. Uh, he's just a very simple guy. He has a clamshell phone, no Wi-Fi in his house. I actually remember a year or so later, I saw one of his books in the airport. Okay. And I was like, I emailed him or told him like, hey man, congratulations, you, you made your book into the airport. He probably laughed at me, but he didn't, he, was never, he would never tell me I'm a famous person, but uh, it was, uh, it was one of those, that's the kind of person he is, and that's why I didn't know. You had a natural fit with him, because, well, before we go into a bit deeper into that, I think we, for the people who don't know you or who have not read the book, which will, until after the batches, because you're going to be world famous in Belgium now, <laughs> most people will not have read the book, so can you tell us in like two minutes what happened to you? Um, well, I don't, want, I don't want to ruin the ending, so, I, so I, I won't tell the people if I make it alive or not. <laughs> I'll have to read that part and find out. But, you know, in short, it's a, it's a, it's a book about a, a kid who found his calling, you know, in life and uh, grew up in a very difficult environment with a lot of obstacles and had to navigate through many, many things, external and also internal issues, uh, who fell in love with coffee and he wanted to wanted to bring and uh, revitalize and uh, this coffee art from his family's homeland to the world and in the process had to learn how to become an entrepreneur you know and had to go through that that learn that lesson um and so uh people read the book find it a book that you know that connects a lot of different people connects us to our food you know understand where our food comes from and it connects us to a place in part of the world like yemen which is often misunderstood Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a country that's beautiful and has a wonderful history and it helped us help br bring coffee to the world. So coffee is the main subject. Were you a, a coffee addict? As you were, were you born a coffee addict? This might shock a lot of people, but six years ago I didn't really drink coffee. Okay. Um, the coffee that I was exposed to early on, as most people are, are it's usually coffee that's very bitter, that you have to put lots of cream and sugar just to make it drinkable. And um, it wasn't until, you know, my late teens that I stumbled upon specialty coffee, you know, these hipster coffee shops. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had my first cup of coffee it was a natural process Ethiopian yogurt chefe. And that cup changed my life. Um, from then on, I've been on this coffee tour. So I did obviously read the book. Um, you went to... You're, you're becoming a coffee sommelier, or how is that called? It, it's not like you were like this natural born talent who walked in and was like a sommelier like from the first exam or the first taste. You really had to work hard for that. Yeah, I mean, one thing that did help me though, San Francisco is a very multinational city. It's like one of the most diverse with food, and so I love food, mm -hmm. the big foodie. Um, and so that helped a lot. The more your palate is exposed to different foods, the better you can uh -huh. be as a, as a taster. But there's a coffee certification program called the Coffee Q Grader. And that's sort of like a sommelier. So it's a 22 part exam. One of our exams, we had to learn 36 different smells for coffee. It was very, very detailed. And um, I had to take this exam. It took me four months. I failed so many times. Uh, but eventually I passed and I became the first Arab Arabica coffee taster. Which is kind of a contradiction because that's where coffee comes from. So it does, how is know. that possible? It's, um, you know, it's one of the issues. One of the issues I face in Yemen is that this disconnect between Yemen, you know, and the world. And so for me, in order to become a successful entrepreneur or a person who does well in this path, I had to be a master. So I always tell young people, like, just whatever you want to get into, become a master in it. Take the classes, read the books, go to the conferences, you know, and 
Um, and for me, I had to learn about farming, supply chain management, and coffee tasting. 